Guess who you looking at? You already know what time it is, man. You rock with the best I'm your host since today. He's far right. I got my co-host, Chuck Black. <laughs> hey, man, special guest right here. Man in the middle. Man in the middle of the, of the top of the conversation, man. I got the one and only Wu-Tang Clan Sam Rapper, Wu Syndicate, Suffolk Song with Joe Mafia, man. What's good, bro? What's good with you, man? What's up, man? What's up, man? man? Glad to have you here, man. Glad to have you here on, on the corner, man. Glad, That's what it is, glad man. to be here, man. I come from the corner. That's what, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's facts. Facts. Yeah. Big facts, man. Big facts. So, man. What's, what's new? What's new? You know what I'm saying? What's new for the for, for Wu Syndicate, man? What's we, new we, in the pole in, in the pit, man? Pole cool, we chilling. You know what I'm saying? How about you doing? Sure. Yeah, he good, man. We got a um, we got the album coming. Underworld King actually is coming out tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? Word. Y'all yeah. make sure y'all go yeah. cop that, man. Underworld yeah, King. Y'all get y'all get it on um, um y'all gonna see the link on Facebook. You know what I'm saying? The pre-orders is due now, but all y'all gotta do is just get on Facebook, get on my personal page, get on my Atlanta page, and just order. You know what I'm saying? That's what it is, yeah. man. That's what's up, man. We're looking forward to that, man. Okay. So, um, we can go ahead and give a background right quick. For those of you who live, you know my, you know my catchphrase, for those of you living underneath a rock that don't know who this man is right quick, we talking about the one and only Joe Murphy, man. Suffering Native, man. Wu-Tang Clan, signed with Wu, under Wu Syndicate. Hey, man. The man is dope, man. You need to go and listen to his music. So, we talking about, what, five albums? You know, well, until tomorrow. We talking about, what, five albums? Yeah, about five, six. About five, six albums. Doing a couple of mixtapes. Yeah, a couple of mixtapes, man. Yeah, of mix tapes, man. Yeah. Hey, man, it was one track I was really, I was really, and it's a lot of tracks. <laughs> man, it's a lot of tracks I'm interested in. But one track that I was really, really interested in that you did, man, Yellow Tape. Oh man, yellow tape, man. With pure, right? With pure, bro. Shout out to pure. Shout out to pure, man. Man, um, we'll be seeing you on the corner too, man. Pretty soon, man. Yeah, real soon. Yeah, um, man. Tell us the motivation behind that, man. man. It was you just, it was just like, you know, my a lot of times he um, this concept wise, because we had a dude named Anti. Shouts out to Anti, producer. Just coming with, you know, that that, that tight beat and. It, that's what it just sounded like, some murder. You see what I'm saying? Right. And then right. pure was just coming fresh off the. Uh, off the tour with Ray, you know what I'm saying? Okay. And we caught him in, in his free time while he was just around mingling, you right. know what I mean? And we was like, come on, man, hop on this album. It was like one of the last joints we did, and we shot a video for it, and it just went up from there. You know what I'm saying? That's what it is, man. That's what's yeah. up, man. I mean, it's a dope track, man. I, I'm, I'm feeling it. I'm, well, Yo, for, me to be set up, for me to yeah. sit up there and just single that out, I feel kind of bad. But that nah, was something, you know nah, what I'm saying? Nah, it was, I, I that's it. one I out of many that stood out to me. Make sure y'all holler, make sure y'all holler this man to get that pre-order, man. Make yeah. sure y'all go and check this man out, man. Yeah. Underworld all King videos. coming out tomorrow, man. Boom. Check yeah. out his videos, YouTube, man. Where you y'all you on all platforms? Yeah, yeah. It's uh my landscape underscore Joe Mafia. You know what I'm saying? IG. And um I'm Joe Mafia757 on Twitter. I'm Joseph Outlaw, unfortunately, on Facebook. <laughs> and yeah, that's it. That's it. That's how y'all can get at me. You know, you know you can change your uh, name on Facebook too. Man, listen, I I, I, I I did it so long. I had a flip phone when I did my shit. Man. You know what I'm saying? So it was like, and everybody say that, man. T nine. Right, man, I hate that shit. Yeah. Word, man. So we're gonna um, get into a little bit of, of the background. So you started you started spitting bars at what age, man? Shit, man. Um, let's go back to probably when I was like about. It would take about eight, man. Like one of the first songs I, I was rapping to was um, it's funny, right? Because it was my cousin Steve Milk. Peace to him. Keep stagging on him. That's my Shout out, that's my bro, man. Keep yeah. stagging, man. He yeah. was just on the corner the other day. Oh, yeah. 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 I swear to God, I wish I knew you could be the chicken dance. I would cancel my plans and I would came to your house. <laughs> I was trying to, I, I had called you. I, 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 I thought you were trying to say it over the phone. <laughs> hey, Keith. Hey, bro. I thought I said something over the phone that you you know I, I'm my bad, dog. You ain't tell me. You told I could have sworn I said I, I did I something on the book. Matter of fact, I did something on the book. I said I made a pitch. I said I'm gonna see how these turkey legs turn out. You see, I didn't know you were gonna feed the man. I mean, that's bro. I mean, the man don't see his corn. I mean, shit. Shit. No worries. Shout out to Keith, man. Shout out to my man Keith, man. Hey, bro. Hey, hey look. <laughs> I let him not know about them turkey legs, them collard greens that night, man. That's for real, bro. <laughs> to answer that question, yeah, I was about. I was about nine years old, and the first song that I gravitated to was um, when my mom's played Sugar Hill Gang, rest in peace to her. She played Sugar Hill. You know, they talking about chicken tastes like wood, all this hip hop, the hip 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 you know, everybody yeah, yeah. partying type yeah, shit. So I get around my, you know, my uncle, and he played the message. 
like broken mm. glass everywhere. People pissing on the stairs like they yeah. just don't care. And right. I, that's what I seen. I was like, yeah, like, like wow. Yo, yeah. Like he's talking about what I, he ain't just rapping. Talking about he's flying in the air like right. Superman and all this stuff. Yeah, he's talking about the jobs, saying? the crack epidemic. You know what I'm saying? So from that. I started trying to hone my, you know, hone my style. Then I used to try to em emulate people like Rakim and Run DMC, LL Cool J, Cool G, Rap, Big Daddy Kane. Great. You know what I'm saying? On um, KRS One. And then I eventually just started saying my own shit. You know what I'm saying? And then once that came into play, I was gone, man. Gone with it. Me. Yeah. So I get it like the, the the age that I came into my own. It started when I was about eight or nine, mm -hmm. but I was on my way by the time I was like eleven or twelve. Cause I, I was doing stuff like battling and sub skating rink with Jimmy Reed DJ and shit like right, that. Right, right, right. Like chilling mo, rest in peace. Rest in peace, you know chilling mo, man. Busy, rest in peace. Like right. I used to be around large and them back, you know the lumberjacks. Yeah, shout out to them. Shout out to them, man. Hey, like, like I want to have them right. Oh yeah, he'll come, yeah. man. Big man, they ain't nothing. It's a word. Yeah, you know anything for the town. So when, when did when did you and Mario link up, man? Oh man, we we met Mile when me and Napoleon was the hell racers. Matter of fact, talking about the lumberjacks, we was up underneath for them, and we was torn. They was torn with Jail Felon and Death Jam, and we was the hell racers up underneath them. But we was it was Jail Felony, the lumberjacks, hell racers, which was me and Napoleon. So we ended up meeting up with. Rizzo cousin born through Treasure, which is our cousin too. Right, right. Free him. Um, shout out to Reddy Rothstein too. Um, and we ended up going to a joint that was at the clubhouse. See, my Lansky, he was like a, he was a solo artist back then. Like he used to do shows for the, the Fugees and all that shit because he was right. plugged in. Uh, my man, I mean Pat Richardson and uh, uh, my man Charlie. And they used to let him open up, like at the Evidence Showcase and all this and that. So he was already doing his thing. So we ended up plugging up with him. You know, we seen each other live or whatever. We was in the same house with Mob Deep and all this and that. And Born just seen something. And he was like, you know, he had heard our tape from one of his dudes in the streets. And, um, matter of fact, then, shout out to him too. He had to take the Hellraiser tape. Right. And he was like, Yo, who the fuck is these dudes? I need to, you know, I need to link up with them. So when we finally met up with them, we just clicked, man. You know what I'm saying? And, and from there, we, we started working on on the, on the, on the new syndicate shit. But first, it was Crime Syndicate. And that was original. Yeah, yeah, and that was yeah. originally a name for the album that my Lansky had. Yeah. But right. we took it on as a group because we was like, okay, he from here, we from here, we syndicated. Let's let's go. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Man, that's what it is, man. If you're not tuned in, you're not rocking with the best time your host since today's show. Another dope ass episode of You Already Know What Time It Is. Seeing it's corner, man. Far left, I got my co host, man. Main man in the middle, I got a one and only Joe Mafia, man. I got to sit up there and pay my bills right quick because you know I got to. If right. not, they can cut all this shit off up in here. Okay. And, and Chuck Black can be mad. Chuck Black can be mad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Matter of fact, I'm going to take a bathroom break on that one, man. Y'all niggas. Crazy, hey man. yo, you wanna get you wanna get through? No, I'm straight. Oh, good yeah, word. Man. Hey man, when it comes to <laughs> when it comes to all boys, all culture, we talking about the one and only Roe Holland, Doc Ford and them boys, man. Drinking on Sundays, man. That's salute, family too. Salute my salute. sponsor, man. Salute my sponsor. Man. I ain't got no cup. And he just stole my cup, but these are the cups I just stole from. I, I'm not, I haven't stolen hey, bro, it. I need you. my personal cup. Oh, he's supposed to be giving us a. See, well, you know, hey, 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 bro, we need some more cups. We understand the situation. The world so, shut down. Yeah, you the world shut down. To us, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but trust me, got you, though. Know? That's, that's, that's Let me go to the bathroom. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, you know. You know. Hey, George, George, I'll be right back, right quick. But let, let us pay these bills right quick. Hey, man, shout, like I said, shout out to Drinking on Sundays, man. The one and only, man. Hey, man, whenever you need anything, Photographize. Yeah, that word is back. Yes, it's back. It's went nowhere. Whenever you need anything, photographize. You need, um, I don't know, um, graduation, extra graduation pictures. You need pictures done for your summer cookouts, your wedding, your uncle's famous summer cookout that's coming up this week. I'm talking about wedding photos. Hey, little baby pictures. You just had the baby. And look at the cute little baby. Yeah, hey, holler my man Richard Griffin, man. That's Rich G underscore photo pro on Instagram. Holler my man Richard Griffin on Facebook, man. Hey. Dude is the man behind the scenes right now taking all these pics, those pics that I posted today. That's the man behind it. Holler at him, man. Hey, he's very affordable. Get out of him. Located right here in Suffolk. Hey, make sure you, hey, for real, make sure 
Now make sure because she's back open. She's back open. Man, drunk. And she yes, yes, and she's getting me. Wear your make, mask. Wear your make sure, yeah, you gotta wear your mask. Make sure you holler at holler at my other sponsor, man. Make sure you holler at my sponsor, sponsor Lisa, man. That's Lisa's restaurant and lounge located on 107 Drive in Portsmouth, Virginia, man. Hey man. Oh yeah, shout out to Lisa. Shout man. out to Lisa, man. What's Show up, baby? Love. Um mm -hmm. Mondays through Friday shuts down at two. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Monday through Thursday shuts down at twelve. Friday from Friday on up, she shuts down at two o'clock. New DJ now, DJ Black. I was just brought up in there the other day. He was in there doing his thing. Pool still great, drink special still on. Make sure you get up in there, holler my sponsor, man. Show us some love out there. 107 Chuan Drive, Force for Virginia, man. Shout out to Lisa, man. Hey man, when it comes to um, you know, you wanna holler, you need your, your shirts printed up. Especially like one of these shirts I'm sitting up here wearing right now. Make sure you holler my main man, Alex Giles, man. That's Alex Giles of 9A Clothing. Make sure you holler him on Facebook, Alex Giles. And if you need your, you got your old lady, and she want a shirt, one of the women, you know, the little tight tops or whatever, make sure you holler this woman. And his, I'm sorry, not his woman, his wife, Linda Giles. You know what I'm saying? She has her, her own thing called Bougie Boutique. She does the frame for the female persuasion. Make sure you holler her too, man. Hey, man, so now back to business, man. Shirt. Yeah. <laughs> they can order them for them good dudes too. They want them, you can order them with your girl, man. Yeah, you know? man. Ain't <laughs> no man, hey, no, cause my, shopping at Rainbow and my shit. arms ain't big enough to have tight shirts. Anybody wearing them these, man. I'm gotta, telling you, man. I gotta put a rubber band on the back side. There ain't no rules, bro. No, <laughs> there ain't no yo, ain't no rules nowadays. I seen seen a nigga seen nigga wear some lugs. But that's another that's a whole nother subject though. That's a whole nother subject. <laughs> hey man, anyway, we back. <laughs> We back, man. We back, back in the business, house, man. You know what I'm saying? It's corner, man. I got the one and only Joe Mafia in the middle, far right. Yeah. co-host. The one shout and only out. Chuck Brack, Black, the product. Chuck Brack. Yeah, right. Chuck yeah. Brack. Chuck Black, the product, man. Hey, Chuck, Chuck, and he was Chuck White for about a week. Yeah, he was Chuck White for a minute, though. Y'all remember that? <laughs> man, Chuck he White. Right Chuck now. White. Chuck. I'm Chuck, sure Chuck White. Chuck White identified as a 23 year old white man. <laughs> I was Chuck White, but that was the end. This is now. Hey man, so we back, we back to Joe, man. So it's understood, man. You got a um, versus battle with one of your um, co defendants, man. Pure, yeah, also pure. a yeah, self pure. native, also Wu Syndicate rap rapper, man. So um, how did that come about, man? I mean, it was, it was something that uh, Slum City Track Battles, they put together, you know, they doing it for the culture. Marv Nichols. Yeah, they doing it for the town. Shout out Marv Nichols, man. Nothing and, um, soft for me. And that's, and that's, you know, that's it. Just, you know, two dudes that made it from the town outside of Napoleon. You understand what I'm saying? That that, that really set the bar for, you can do it from this motherfucker. You right, just gotta right. you put yourself somewhere. So it, you know, we all in fun and games, man. You know, that's broke. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Matter of fact, I just text him the address to come through. You know word, what I'm word. I just hollered at him on the phone before I got down. Hey, hey, come through, bro. We here, you man. We here. Love to sit up, sit up and see you come through, man. We love to talk to you, man. But that's, uh, you know, it's just, it's, it's all in fun and games, yo. You know, because uh, me and Pure got a real history to go back as far as, like, me, me and his baby mom. His, his baby mom and my baby mom and sister. Word. So I've been knowing... I've been knowing Pure, man, for every bit about like 20 years now. Word, you understand what I'm saying? And uh, I was like probably one of the first people that started taking him to the studio. Like, the studio, studio. Because he, he used to record with Marv and um, this and that. But I'm talking about taking him to a studio. You mm -hmm. understand what I'm saying? And then I always had collabos with him. And, you know, he just he just blossomed. You know, like, I just kept, just kept fucking with him, fucking with him. But it wasn't just me. It was his passion, his drive. You know Word. what I'm saying? Word. So with them putting that together, it was like, like, all right, well, well, fuck it. You understand what I'm saying? I mean, cause that, that's my nigga, and I know he got some shit, and I know I got some shit. Exactly. And I know people want to hear that shit. Put, so you know, quick question: Where do you see Wu Syndicate in ten years? Man, man I, I executive producer, a label, Ooh. building downtown, Suffolk or Portsmouth or at least in Norfolk. Where you can come out the main and see that shit with a big ass, some type of gas, yeah, some type of logo, man. Cause we, we ain't got shit here, man. Understand? You know understand that you can't rap forever. And even as even this man right here is saying, no, I'm not gonna rap forever. I got the transition. Yeah, right, man. You can't you yeah. can't be pushing a certain line and not, you know, like I would love to be on the front line as long as I need to be. As I have been up to this point, but I'm right. saying as far as what I'm seeing and saying right now. Right. And pass that. And when I pass it, pass it with the shortcuts to get the way you need to go without fucking bullshit people, bullshit studios, right. bullshit connections, 
You understand what I'm saying? Well, bitch. Now you with motherfuckers like, you'll see a nigga, you'll be like, yeah, man, I own um, such and such and such. you like, yeah, man, you know I'm mad at so-and-so. Mm-hmm. Nigga, you work at the shipyard. Right. You ain't right. got time to manage nobody. You understand what I'm saying? So what, what yeah. people really is complacent with, and I promise you, this is how we always wear ourselves thin. Try to work too many hats, bro. You know Man. what I'm saying? Like, like, it's good that you know how to do all that shit, but it's impossible to do all, all that, that shit at yeah, one yeah, time. Yeah, right? yeah, slow down. So you gotta, yeah, you gotta focus on being an artist. You need a nigga that can focus on you being an artist that's a manager. You need a motherfucker that can focus on your manager with promoting you as an artist. You need a machine that can push your music so the motherfucker can promote you with your manager with you as an artist. It's like it's a it's a similar line, bro. You, Message! You, you, you can't you. possibly be all that shit. Message! Because if it was that easy, anybody can do it. Man. And I promise Man. you that's the mantra why we got all this garbage ass music right now. Man. You know what I'm saying? Because people just think they can sit in front of the camera, mm -hmm. say some bullshit, mm -hmm. let it fly off, but just for the sake of chance, how crazy shit is, that's exactly what it do. Versus, yeah, that, versus, yeah, that's crazy. Versus a nigga that's been doing this since doing, doing it. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Saying yeah. something, got a message, got backing, got a foundation. It's just crazy, but the thing is, all these dudes, they the, they the bottom of the totem pole that we hear. The only reason why we hear these dudes is because of all that shit I just told you. They got a motherfucker with a bag. They got a nigga that that's on top of their manager doing the promoting. The manager is, is managing for the artist, and the artist is just being a fucking artist. The artist ain't trying to be his own manager. He ain't trying to motherfucking be his own graphic designer. He ain't trying to... All this nigga doing is waking up, going in the studio, recording music. So, you know I think it might be safe to say that we got people doing their job that that's really bringing out whack-ass music. That's really uplifting whack I mean, music. I mean, if, I mean, in a I mean, sense, you got people that's really good at doing their job that's bringing out whack-ass artists. I mean, yeah, but, but the thing, but the thing is, see, that's and that's where where you say like hustle versus talent. You can be talented, but if you ain't got no team, mm. you can be a garbage ass artist. But if your team solidified, they can make shit fly in the air, man. You understand what I'm saying? At least, make, at least make it stick to a wall that everybody can see it. Right. You know what I'm saying? You know what? And right. I'm a witness of that. Personally, yeah, I, I, man, I, that was that was radio. Yeah. I'm, I'm a witness of that baby. personally. You know Come what I'm on, saying? Man, I, I can't even. These motherfuckers, millionaires for they twenty years, they can't even drink. And you want to wonder why they getting killed and shit? Doing exactly. shit like putting their location on, man. Yeah, I'm buying and shit. Beefing with niggas, pulling out money and all this shit. Come on, man. So is it safe Come to on. say that's what, if, all right? It, can we be safe to say that that's where a little bit where rap got fucked up at, hip hop got fucked up at? I'm gonna tell you what, I ain't even gonna say it's necessarily fucked up. It's actually in a better lane, but it's more saturated because it's so easy. To get, like, when we was coming out, we was passing out tapes. Yeah. And CDs yeah. and niggas, the street team was sticking shit to light poles. Yeah. Yeah. Climbing up, and we yeah. had to take pictures with every fan and yeah. come to DJs and sign autographs. Yeah. Now I can click one button and I'm all over the fucking world. Without even traveling. So, so, and then these kids is coming up, they know how to manipulate shit. They know how to. Soulja Boy was the first, was the first inclination of that. You and he was. A lot of people sleep, slept on Soulja Boy. Fucking tagging, tagging, tagging up, anything hot. Yeah. Soulja Boy created this shit. He Soulja created Boy, yeah, Soulja Boy shit, paper man. up, man. He you know what I'm this saying? Shit, man. I got, I mean, I ain't, it ain't like I'm a, a fan of that genre, but I'm a fan of his business. You understand what I'm saying? Because he figured his lane out. And that's the only. That's the only big up that I have with it. And I'm like, okay, with well, these little kids and figured out a way, they can, they can just find something and get it back. But Soldier Boy was you tricking you though. Soldier Boy was on like yeah. Rhyme Wire and all of yeah, that. Yeah, I mean, and yeah. he'll, he'll well, label he, his stuff as like 50 Cent. And he'll get you. Yeah, <laughs> you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Was smart. <laughs> yeah but that's hashtag, smart. Though. That was smart. Hashtag yeah. fish. That's why yeah. yeah. nigga that was hashtag fish. Frank Lucas saw them blue magic. He told me he used blue magic. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> but I, I can say, I can say, the upside is, it's it's uh, it's easier as far as like placing yourself in different places where you want to be seen versus even having to deal with a motherfucker. But that's why niggas don't even know how to talk in interviews and shit yeah. like that. Yeah, they ain't used yeah. to dealing with people. Right. Like when we was coming up as artists, we had we had grooming, we had media training. 
like what not to say during the interview. Like keep your composure. Don't sit there like I don't want to throw nobody on the bus with niggas with ski masks and looking at you all crazy and shit. You know what I'm saying? Nah, you know? nigga, go that way. <laughs> I don't fuck with him, man. You, you said it, nigga. Hey, I, ain't, I won't even try to give him exactly no light. I won't even try to give him no light, man. I won't even try to give him no light. Free him, though. Free him, like though. But all I'm saying is, we, we dealing with kids. And the upside is what I'm saying. The upside is that we, they able to gain access. They able to make it take off from something so the media right but the downside is so much of it like even when we was coming up it was leverage you want to go to conscious shit you got conscious shit you want to go to this you want to go to that you want to go to your go go like boom we used to go to dc what kind of music you hear of you was in dc okay. back in the day if you went down south we we i'm talking about before g's and all that shit what type of music did you hear it was okay. bass. It was bass. It was bass. It was bass music. It was bass music like Magic Mike and shit like yes, that. Okay. You go to the West Coast, you hear funkified shit, laid right. back shit. You yeah. understand That's what right. I'm saying? You That's go right. to New York, you hear the New York shit. The yeah. versatility was crazy now, back then. Yeah. You now, everything, you everything. You hear everything, yeah. every fucking way to the point that even niggas is dressing the same, man. And every, yeah, nigga, yeah, every, a every, nigga, a nigga be like, yeah, shout it. He got the same shit you got on. Yeah, shout it. He like, where you from, man? I'm from uh, Atlanta. Like, what the hell you doing in Jericho? <laughs> 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 I mean, shout it. I mean, shout it. Facebook, shout it. Shout it. I mean, shout it. What you doing on Wilson Street, nigga? <laughs> hey, GPS, shout it. Facts, man. Facts, right, man. man. Now, so it. then you're not rocking with the best, man. I'm your old sister today. It's co host sitting up to the far, far right. My one and only Chuck Black, the product, main man in the middle, the one and only Joe Murphy, man. Joe Murphy, Wu Sinek, shout out. Man. My last and Napoleon, man. Shout out, man. Oh. Shout out to them fellas, man. Hey, man, um, so if you had any words to give to these up and coming artists right now, mm. any words of wisdom? I got a lot. Man. I got a lot, man. What would you say? In a, in a synapsis, what would you say okay. to these to these up and coming rappers, rappers in a synapsis right now? Cause they need guys. Yeah, they don't. They, but they don't, cause they hate the old nick. But see, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you, no, listen, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna no, tell you, I'm, I'm gonna tell you, tell you a disconnect though. I'm gonna tell you, we was doing right? that shit too. Okay. No, but we won as we was the last generation of morals and principles. Which That's a fact. You understand what That's I'm saying? That's a fact. Where, 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 where our elders, even if they won't even our elders, if they see us doing wrong, they'll try to correct they'll, us. They'll yeah. whoop our ass. And now, now, them, now, now ass, and then you got home, you got right. ass whooped. Now, they scared. They don't even say nothing because these little motherfuckers is crazy. Yeah, you understand crazy what I'm saying? Too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm crazy at three. But look, <laughs> this is what I'm saying. It's like, it's a generation, it's a young generation that hate old motherfuckers. It's an old generation that hate the young motherfuckers, but we the middle generation that hate both of them. I don't hate them though. I don't hate them either, but I mean, what, I'm saying, what I'm saying is, it's the same true. way I can talk shit about this one, I can talk shit true. about this Kanye one. Kanye said, this is our time. And, <laughs> and, and, and my, word, my, word, my, word, my, word, my words of wisdom to these youth would be, get you a team, right. get you a backing, focus on your craft, don't spread yourself thin trying to wear too many hats. You want to be a, a designer, be a designer. You want to be a model, be a model. You want to be an artist, be an artist. And don't mimic shit. Be original. Don't don't take, you know, you can take constructive criticism, but don't let nobody deter you from knowing what it is you feel and what you need to do. And you got to be ready to sacrifice, man. So, piggy, you, piggybacking man. off of your house, you got to learn how to take constructive criticism. Right. You got to learn how to sacrifice. Right. So I guess my question is, what was one of the biggest sacrifices you had to make in order to keep moving my and family, keep going? My family. Elaborate. I was, uh, you know, I, I, I was fresh just having a daughter. I uh, I was just embarking on leaving the streets alone, but not not all the way, mm -hmm. but really just trying to do right because I, I just had my first daughter. And um, it was like a real wake-up call for me because I'm like, yo, this shit... I got to do something. This shit got to work. Cause I done let the bullshit go. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So it, it 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 was it was it was really trying to me because I had to look at what I had and what I was going through versus what I already seen that was there for me. But the 
thing that hurts you the most is when the people you love the most don't believe you. Man. I had a, I had a motherfucker tell me, just because I stopped selling shit, that I'm all into this music. I was a sucker. And I used that shit. I used that shit to fuel me all the way to fucking BT. I used that shit, like, for real. You understand what I'm saying? I'm like, oh yeah, I'm a sucker. Yeah, all right. Watch this. I'm about show to you a sucker. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna show you who fuck a fucker sucker. <laughs> laugh at me. Watch you know you laugh saying? at me all the way to the back. Well, that's you what know you know gotta what do. Saying? You gotta use those things as stepping stones. Well, yeah, see, the thing and stand is, up on it. Anybody that's successful that you look at got these stories, man. They were sleeping in the cars. They was homeless. How do you think they got there? That's right. They had to be like, you don't just kiss your kids and be like, all right, fuck y'all, I'm gone. Yeah, yeah. You don't just do that. You yeah. understand what I'm yeah. saying? You can't do that. But when you in that go mode, like you see it just like I'm looking over here, and you like, man, all I gotta do is get to that fucking wall, man. That's and, it. And, and, and I ain't let nothing fuck that up, because I see it. Right. It's right. in my lap. Right. So why would you not, you know, be like, okay, all right, baby, you know, you a sucker. You know why like, I, I feel though? Because, like, speaking of my personal experience, most yeah, of the no people doubt. that. That, that down you for what you do, because they ain't doing shit. They ain't doing shit. Like, no bullshit. Like, they, they don't do shit. But they you know comfortable I mean? with living that regular life. Monogamous. You know what I mean? And anonymous life, man. You know what I'm saying? That nine to five hamster wheel, running around, not really, like, at, at, at some point, motherfuckers will make your dreams seem like you tripping. Yeah. Cause right. you got a dream. You might second guess yourself. Yeah, man. <laughs> Nigga, you might. Yeah, just you might. imagine you if might. I listened to that motherfucker that said that shit to me. You ain't had your mouth, man. Never sit up there. I probably been in the warehouse for twenty years right, right now. Never That's sit right. up there and, Come on, and, man. and, and stay chill. So I don't damn sure go back to school. So a motherfucker that sit up <laughs> yeah, there trying to sit up there and down <laughs> your your dream and down shit. your vision. Never sit up there and listen to that person because that right. person just like we just said. They ain't doing shit with their life no way. They don't want you to do shit with yours. They want you to be in the same boat that they in. You know what I'm saying? And be ambitious. Be be real. Be real with people. Treat people how you want to be treated from Man. the bottom up. Because that's how you get your foundation in your team. And when you see motherfuckers ain't for you, Leave them motherfuckers alone, man. Cause they gonna make. I promise you, that's gonna bite you in your ass later, bro. Man, you know what I'm saying? So if anything, stay sucker free. Stay focused. Do your fucking job. Make sure everybody else doing their fucking job. And that's it. That's what it is, man. If you're not tuned in, you're not rocking with the best. I'm your host, Sister Nation, on another dope episode of Sands Corner. Far left, I got my main man, Chuck, black man in the middle, Joe Mafia. Yeah. I gotta pay these bills yeah, one more yeah, time. Yeah. I gotta pay these bills one more time. When it comes to our voice, our culture, we talk about the one and only drinking on Sundays, man. The What's up, bro? On Sundays, man. What's good, bro? What's good, y'all, man? Shout out to y'all, man. That was my, that's my sponsor. That's my mentor. Shout out to you, man. Hey, man, we're going to go ahead and move on to my next sponsor. Hey, shout out to Lisa's, man. Lisa's Restaurant and Lounge located on 107 Chawan Drive for everybody on Facebook, for everybody on Instagram. Make sure you stop back. All of them, man. Hey, everything's still the same. Mondays through Thursdays. She shuts down at 12. Third Fridays and whatever. And past that Friday through, sir, through Sunday. Shut down at 2. Still got those dope drink specials. The food is off the chain. Hey, man, my, I was just in there with my homeboy, Lamar Struggles, who was also on the, on the corner. Oh, hey, man, he set up there and got that tilapia. Ask him about it, man. The man couldn't even leave the parking lot. He was in the truck eating, man. So y'all wearing holla leases, man. Hey, man, make sure whenever you need anything photographers, I break down. I don't know if you heard these snaps being took and break down or this monumentous interview. But my main man, Richard Griffin, is in the background well, snapping those Griffin, snaps, man. man. Make sure right. you get at him when you need your stuff photographers. That's the words going down in this dictionary. Can you dig it? My main man, Richard Griffin, that's Rich G underscore photo pro. On Instagram, if you're on Instagram, hey, holler the main man on Instagram, holler them, man. Hey, man, make sure you holler them whenever you need your weddings, newborn just got born, just got born, um, um, parties, um, hey, man, he even, hey, if y'all trying to do, um, uh, I don't know, um, orgy, orgy parties and bar mitzvahs, bar mitzvahs yes, sir. Uh, orgy parties, too. He there, too, we taking all pictures. He might, yeah, he can, he can. You drive by graduation, you can, you drive by parties, I got you. Yeah, you gotta participate. He can do it. He can do. He can, he can record too. You know what I'm saying? You gotta be an actor. You gotta play I'm, your part. I'm just you messing know? around. But look, man, whenever you need any event, photographers, you want that memory set in stone. Make sure you holler my man, Richard Griffin. Man, look him up on Facebook, Richie underscore Photo Pro. Look him up on IG. Make sure you holler my main man. Hey man, for any printed shirts, 
in the interview of printed shirt needs, just like this, you know what I'm saying, this jerk full sin shirt I'm wearing. Hey, man, make sure you holler at my main man, Alex Giles, man. That's 9 8 clothes, man. Alex Giles, man. Hey, for the female persuasion, when you got those little tight shirts, you know, the little V cup, you know, and you want some printed, make sure you holler at his wife, Linda Giles. It's Linda Giles on Facebook, man. Holler at him, man. Real talk, man. Um, getting back to the main man of the hour, man. The mm -hmm. one and only Joe Murphy, Wu Syndicate sign rapper, man. On the Wu Tang, man. I'll let my main man Ray, Ray Quick. He has an album dropping tomorrow by yeah. the name Underworld of Underworld King. Whew, all sure platforms. Like, all Tomorrow. platforms. Put in pre orders tonight. Speaking of that album, man. Hey, man, who, who, um, so who did you work with in the album, man? If you can give any, any hints as far as uh, production wise. Production wise. Oh, we, we, uh, we didn't even get into the features. We got uh, Smoking Joe. And a couple of other dudes that's under the head, man. You know, my landscape, he stay fishing for tracks. Right. Me, I come across him, but a lot of times he's like the, the curator for it. Like, I, I, I'm a brain joint to the joint, but a lot of times it's people that get him in the inbox and then he'll shoot me something. And I'm like, oh, yeah, all right, bet. Yeah, we can, we can dance on that. You know right. what I'm saying? Right. And that's usually how it be, because a lot of times when I'm reaching out, Motherfuckers take their sweet ass time sending me shit or something. <laughs> but I just, I'm just not a strong internet presence though, so I get that. You understand what I'm saying? They don't know if I'm gonna pop back up. Look, I, I might hit you now, just like even hit you. You know what I'm saying? Hey, boom, boom, we do this. I talk to you like three, four days later, but, but I talked to you. Yeah, you did talk. We did yeah. communicate, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So you said you spoke upon this earlier, early in the interview, but I'm gonna ask this. You know what I'm saying? Because I didn't officially ask it, so I'm gonna get it on on the record right now. Right. When it comes to you growing up <clears throat> rapping, when it comes to you listening to artists and you got motivated, what artists motivated you? What artists that were already in the game? And if you have any artists that weren't in the game, oh man, that motivated you. I'm gonna I'm gonna give a real shout out, man, to a to a to a, a suffer. Matter of fact, he a Jericho legend, man. Diesel, man. Ernie Ooh, D. D. I need mean, Ernie D. Ernie what's D. up, baby? Jericho, Ernie baby. D, what's this up, nigga, baby? Nigga, man. Chill. The first time I seen him, and I was idolizing like people like Rock Kim, Cool G Rap, like I told you, Big Daddy Kane. Uh, matter of fact, the whole Juice Crew, yeah. KRS One, LL Cool J, Run DMC. Uh, Back then, that was like right before NWA, Ice T, and all that shit hit. But I was in all that gangster shit too. Schooly D, uh, Grandmaster Flash, all that. I seen this nigga. I was in the talent show. That's when we still had the Win Dixon. Man. Uh, and he was he was working at One on Three Jams. Oh, years ago, oh, he was working at One on Three Jams. He had a he had a commercial on the radio. He was the first nigga I heard on the radio. He was like my. My baloney has a first name or some shit like right, that. Right, 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 right. It sound crazy now, yeah. but back then it really sounded crazy because he was on some other shit. So him and his man, um, what's the, what's the name? Charles. That was his man that was in the group with him. It was him and, and it was him and another dude, man. It was Charles, man. I can't think of his rap name though. If I say his rap name, y'all gonna be like, yo. He said I'm telling my age, but look. Yeah. <laughs> but look. So, <laughs> so. This nigga come up after we do the talent show, which I won, of course. And he hopped out the fucking limousine at the McDonald's. And they had a, like a wood stage platform that all of us was rapping on. Matter of fact, I want to say 103 Jam sponsored this shit. And that's when I first met DJ Law. Right. Shout hey, hey, rest in peace, man. DJ Law, big, man. Big, big, big B won't there. DJ Law was there, though. DJ Law and uh, DJ Silk. Or so, not DJ Silk, but... Uh, Silk Ski or somebody like that, man. He I know you talking about. The DC. I remember right, you know that. Yeah, talking yeah, about. I remember but that. But he had you call in on the line yeah, and yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. He was there. So. I remember that. I LB. seen that nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was on LB. the line. Yeah, I remember that. I remember Shout out to you, man. Shout out to that nigga. So that nigga hopped out. He started rapping. He had his velour suit on and shit. I was looking at this nigga. <laughs> and I'm looking at him like he was like he was rock him or somebody, man, cause you know he had his gold shit on, he right, had a right. sweat, he hopped out of limo. I was like, yo, who the fuck is this? <laughs> he said, that's Ernie T, Ernie T, he from here, he from here, he from here. I'm like, what? He, 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 he from here. I promise you, yo, I went everywhere that nigga was at for about a month. Just 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 so I could meet him on some old, yo man, how you do that? How you get shit in the plate right. to make that crowd come in like that for you to be that nigga, you know what I'm saying? Right. And no bullshit, he took he took me under his, his shit, you know what I'm saying? And that's how I ended up battling people like chilling more and busy and all of them, right. you know what I'm saying? He be like, I got my little nigga, I be at the skating rink just 
who, who, who blah, 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 just rapping, just, you know what I'm saying? You know, freestyling was different back then, though. Know? Yes, sir. Right. You know what I mean? Like, freestyle. like, it won't know. <laughs> Yo, I take the. Nah, uh. <laughs> no, nigga, bang a beat, and you had to go in. You had to like, go in, yeah. yeah. yeah you whether you had it written or, right. or, or a nigga beatboxing, the, that's where yeah. that come from. Yeah, man. yeah, so, I, yeah, I remember that era. Yeah, man. but that, that, that was it, man. And then, uh, you know, just moving around with like uh, the Lumberjacks and them, and, and meeting people like Black Moon and seeing Big and people perform like that. I mean, you, you ain't gonna do nothing but emulate that. If you, you had, if you had your choice. You had of course, choice. Time. You right. had, yeah, of course, Woo. And shout out to the Woo, man. And, man, and shout Andy, out to the Woo. If you ain't even gonna say, happy you belated birthday to Rizzo, man. Hey, yeah, yeah, hey, yeah. Happy belated birth yesterday. birthday. Hey, good one, man. Yeah. I forgot. Happy yeah. belated birthday to the Rizzo, man. Hey, man. First of all, I ain't gonna say, you know, what I'm saying who the Woo is. You know, if you looking at this program right now, you look anyway. So you looking um, at it. We do. So, um, <laughs> you know what I'm so um, we can good, go ahead. Good, we can go ahead and uh, move along. So, if you had the opportunity. To work with another artist, mm. independent, or what's that? Man, uh, other than other than the syndicate, uh, other than who, you had the opportunity to work with another artist, man. Whether it be R and B, I got to name one. You can name you can name as many as you want, but whether it be R and B, whether they sing, the vocals, or whether they are lyricists, who would it be, man? R and B, um. Aaron Hall. Okay. Um, I fuck with Johnny Gill. Mm. Ooh. I fuck with uh Diana Ross. Mm. Ooh, man. I fuck with um. Mm. Come on, wait a minute. Anita Baker. Come on, I man. Now. Sade. Come on now, what would you do with these people? Listen to us, 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 Hmm. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Because I don't want to talk about it. You know, a lot of them gone from me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah. it ain't really no, nobody knew I do so. I do something with Anthony Hamilton. Mm. I do something with um, uh, 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 KC from, from, from KC and JoJo. Ooh, yeah. yeah, I got it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know, I, I could go to Mary J. Glass. I do something with Super Cat, Reggae. So as far as no, I, I, now, 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 give me the give me the rap. Right, me the rap. This, rap. this, 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 what I'll wait for. Um, man, well, I gotta say the city, you know. Yeah, off, 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 off game. Um, cool G rap. Nah. Uh, uh, shit. Uh, Jay Z. Uh, fucking uh, let me see. Wait a minute, let me go to what's called DOC. Mm. Uh, Scooby D. Any new rappers you would like to collaborate with? The newest rapper I would probably collaborate with would be Freddie Gibbs, man. Because mm -hmm. I, I like I like his I like I like his uh he really not new, but as far as him just getting his just do shine right now, because you know everybody tuned in to Brazil. Shout out to them though. Shout out to them. I love what he's doing right now for hip hop. Right. But like Freddie, he's a he's a he's a different breed because you gotta know he came in the game with Young Jeezy back back in the day. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like not not that far back in the day. Not to say like I back in the day, but it's been a minute. But he but he didn't came with like three consecutive joints. Oh yeah, Jada too. Yeah. yeah oh man. Jayla, you know styles too. Um, sticky. Fingers. Um, yeah. Um, Papoose. Yeah. Uh, Lord Banks. You you collab with Lord like that? Yeah, I collab with Lord, man. Like, like I think niggas like that make me push the envelope. Right. I feel like anybody I get on the track with that that's lyrical like that, I got to I got to rise to the best of yeah, my ability. Right. Yeah. You yeah. want yeah. a good yeah. as 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 the nigga you right beside. Right. Like 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 boom. I do I do a track with Cuz. You know what I'm saying? 
He gonna he gonna do him. I got to cause And I gotta match that though. I either gotta match that oh, or I, I gotta push it. myself. Yeah. 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 And I'm yeah. when it comes to that, I'm so tuned in to I'm not gonna say no bullshit on no collaboration. Right, right, right. Man, right, right, man right. give or take. I ain't gonna say I say bullshit on my own shit, but you know I get I get to go in my own little zone. Yeah, do right, right, I ain't right, with right. nobody else, so I right. might I might take you over here somewhere yeah. cussing my baby mama out. Right, but right, if right. I get on the track with a nub, I'm yeah, I'm going on the Strictly animal, business. Yeah. You know Focus saying? on it. Yeah, right. you know what I mean. But yeah, yeah, I, I like uh, I like uh, what's another nigga, man? Burn boy. Burnable. Yeah, I do a joint with Burnable. That's a nigga I that I heard that, 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 but yeah, I don't have yeah, yeah, to listen to yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, heard yeah, him. Yeah, 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 yo. Um, uh-huh. Yeah, he, he like a reggae, like, African nigga for real. I, I don't know. I, I like Yeah, he from overseas. Yeah. So, let me ask you a big question right quick. Um, right. Well, not big. Let me ask you a question right quick. Shout out to Capri Lawrence, man. Hey, how, 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 important, Millie. how important is it to sit up there and go to open mics and perform locally on the lo on the local platform. It it, it it hones your craft, yo. Shout out to uh Bernard Mason, man. Rest in peace, big money. That's my cousin, man. That Shout nigga out to used him, to take me to North Live. I bullshit you not. I was like 14, 14, 15 years old. I had to go to school the next day. Right? That's when they first started doing $103. Mm. And I promise you, them niggas did not shout out Suffolk on the radio. So I started coming out that motherfucker. That's a fact. And turn shit down. They'd be like, yeah, Suffolk on the line. Unless we was on the what? The Candy Graham shit. Other than that, man, then they were calling the Suffolk land. Suffolk, yeah, Suffolk, yeah, yeah. Suffolk, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. But I used to go there and every time they see me there, they'd be like, they'd be like, they'd be like, you know what I am like, Joe Mama, where you from? I'd be like, Suffolk. But back then, my name wasn't even Joe Mott. My name was J Max. Right. Hey, right. J Max. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going up in that bitch. I'm, yo, niggas, I'm giving me liquor. They telling me if they catch me drinking, they gonna kick me out and shit. I'm going to Cotton Supper Club, Club Africa, fucking Ebony Showcase, all that shit. Young. Young as hell. My nigga, I ain't even supposed to be in the club. Right. I'm going there for that $103. Right. And I'm with big money and we smoking. We were playing Dirty Harry tapes, S and S. Come on, man. We riding in the mud and hit that Metro we had, the Black and Gold Metro when it was on Nancy Parkway. <laughs> Nigga, I rap all the way from Nancy Parkway to the Cotton Supper Club in the car. So by the time I get there, my in my car already gone. I'm just in that bitch like Tyson. I'm like, boy, I'm ready. And and and, and then freestyling was free, like coming off the dome. Mm -hmm. Just dickhead, yeah, nigga. And, and, and you got niggas that really ain't nice like that. Here, here go their little keyword. When I come through. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. it. That's and it. I, and I come yeah, through. When I, yeah, yeah, yeah. When yeah, I, I come, come through. through. Yeah, but yeah, are you yeah. coming through? No, no, no. no. <laughs> come through, though, bro. I come when through. I come through. But damn, nigga. Like, heard like, 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 I'm coming through. Niggas be coming through a lot. Hey, my nigga. And I used to eat that shit. I'd be like, oh, yeah, all right. And I get this straight spit. I straight spit, man. Start joking, niggas, demolishing the shit they got on. Start rapping to the niggas behind them. Them niggas was like, yo, yo, chill, yo, show, chill. <laughs> like, ain't nobody here. Money be like, yo, man, we want to fight these niggas, man. I'm like, fuck them niggas, man. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to get that money. You know what I'm saying? And then even after we made it, we had a show out of uh, out, uh, the Suffolk Airport, matter of fact. Destiny's Child was there. Slit Rick was there. Jizzle was there. We was there. Yeah, it, it was fucked up out there. It was raining, but people were still out there. I'm talking about this is the one time Suffolk had a big ass show and won't hardly nobody out there because of how the weather was. But we was there, we had trailers and all that. We had Destiny Child smoking in their trailer, all that shit, right? Slick Rick changes jewelry, all that shit on stage at the Suffolk Airport, nigga. Yeah, we were raining ass, muddy ass, fucked up ass yeah. date. Yeah, yeah. Right? Y'all been to the peanut fest, you so know what we, we talking like, about. Yeah, man, so we was there. We they was don't do it like that at the peanut fest. <coughs> so morning. that night, we ended up going to um, Club Classics. Dope Boy, shout out to him. Shout out, Dope Boy. Love what you do, my nigga. Shout out, Dope Boy. Dope man. Boy, man. Dipset, too. Fucking, um, he, um, they was saying some shit, but DJ Law and Big B and them was there. And when I came back in there, 
them niggas knew me. They already knew who the fuck I was, but see, we had just not too long ago got signed. So niggas like, oh shit, man, what's up, man? Yeah, y'all niggas come on in, we in VIP, all that, they giving us bottles and shit. And then I seen they had an open mic. I hopped dead on that shit. Huh. Dead on that shit. And won $103. Huh. You hear me? Like, like, <laughs> I did on that shit like I ain't on, I ain't on my pivot, nigga. Don't think because you see yeah. me on BET, I ain't the same nigga that was tan ass and off alive and shit. Right. Like and I'm talking about I made it. It was this crew, uh, crew called the uh, um, Big Shots or something. They from Norfolk, man. Respectable, man. Real rap. Cause they 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 pushed the line too, like what they said. So I got respect for them. And I rapped against like one of they niggas like for two rounds and that shit was crazy because he, he, he had a little buckshot hat on and he was doing this little shit. I'm looking, I'm like, nigga. <laughs> I said, okay, I ain't even gonna use no rope shit. I'm gonna just, you understand what right, I'm saying? Right, right, man, right. Man, that, that, shit, that shit got hot, hotter than the firecracker in that motherfucker, man. And that nigga was like, he took his hat off like, yo, man, that nigga just hugged me like, yo. Yo, man, I love that shit, man. Uh, I'm like, yeah, you know I can get $103. Like, <laughs> yeah, you know that. Hey, man, if you're not smoking, you're not smoking. You might want to give me that 103 I'm your host. You reason why you're not shit now. You're not going to throw up. So <laughs> Probably, man. Probably. Hey, yo, I want to give, uh, give a special. Matter of fact, I do it at the end of the show, but I'm going to do it once, once again right here. My man birthday, man. My Lansky birthday, man. 12 o'clock tonight. Hey, shout out to Maya, you know man. Hey, hey, yo, man. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you, man. Happy birthday, 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 birthday to you, my nigga. You know man. I got a bottle of Clico for you, boy. Maya! You already know that. That's what it is, man. Word. That's what's up, man. So we're going to shift gears a little bit. You know what I'm saying? That's how I like doing my show. We can go into another topic. Um, So, um... You're a black man just like I am, just like my man, my co-host right beside you, just like everybody yeah. seen about the community, you know. I don't think I'm black with being a white, you know, I think everybody is, so, and, and. I'm not black. What's your, oh yeah, that's right. But in your response, your, your response to, you know, what's going on out here in this world. We like, talk man, about, this we talk about, shit. oh no, fuck that. Oh yeah, yeah. No, no, fuck that. No. Oh, oh, no. man. We talk about, um, mm. so put the racism. The racism. We're talking about the George Floyds. We're talking about the Trayvon Martins. Mm. We're talking about the Mike Browns. Um, we're talking about the Sandra Blands, the Walter Scott. Everybody. Yeah. Everybody. Yeah. And matter of fact, the thing about it is, the reason why I'm asking you, because it could be at any given point that it could be my name next. Yeah. The, the, or me. The, the, or the Devane Askews or, or whatever or, you want. Or, 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 or the Joseph Outlaws or Richard Griffin. Right. So, See what I'm saying? I this is what happens. This is what happens when you talk about real <laughs> shit. This is what happens when you talk about real shit. But anyway, in your don't response, call Richard Griffin name on that one. <laughs> in your response, in your response, I give up. <laughs> what? How, shit. You how, how do you how do you feel, man? What's how do you feel about what's going on? I mean, I'm really, I'm really, I'm really, I'm really awakened to the fact that. The, work, the reason why we can really pay attention to this shit is because the world sits still. Mm -hmm. That's the real reason, but this shit happens more than we know. Mm -hmm. And what the thing that upsets me the most is after these families or whatever get a check, you don't have nothing, nothing, nothing about this, the ones that slain. They don't have no foundations. They ain't active with the NAACPs. They ain't trying to make no type of movements. And why the fuck would you have a, a child slain or somebody that was that was that was unlawfully murdered? You understand what I'm saying? And not have something to support that or have a voice, but yet we, we we push more for the agenda with that 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 uh that that BLM shit, which is backed by the other people. You know that, right? Yeah, that is known. It's That's like known. it's more rights given to that community than it's given to us for civil rights, bro. That's what I got a problem with. Every, every time you cut the TV on, we we talking about where people that identify a certain way want to use the bathroom or something. And this ain't that that, that, that to offend nobody. Okay, this dick yeah, off, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This ain't to offend that that crowd. I don't give a fuck, man. I'm cutting. Is it dick off? But, but I want to. But I, I want to say, why are we worried about that when we got all this killing and shit going on? Exactly. Man? 
and they get rights like every day. I'm talking about if you cut the TV on, they be like another for the you know for well, them. Yeah. See, this, this you know the thing, right? See, we no, need I'm, that. I, I'm like, yeah, I'm yeah, right. yeah. So like back in the '60s and shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Black Panthers and stuff. You know, they, a similar Mon movement Mon was going on. Exactly. Mon so that, now, because now and now this was so crazy. Because now it's woman liberation, but it was supposed to be like the white woman really walk around with tears out. But you dragging in black, black women. But so that's separate. Them, so yeah, it's not for you, but it's separating them from the man. So they like, okay, we you gonna stand behind your people, we're gonna bring you on over here and create more division. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like somebody well, we bitches don't listen to them. But anyway. <laughs> that's exactly what they bitches don't listen to. Them, man. You know what I'm saying? Like for real. Shit, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like like no bullshit. But I ain't saying like Cause, cause just listen to anybody but you would have right. like it'd have been more stable now. Cause we we would have had what they had. Both parents in the household, you know what I'm saying? Daddy going out working, mom at home, taking care of the kids, shit like that. that. We right. would have had that. I think that pretty much drives more of on the facts of systematic racism. I believe that's a, that's the main reason why I like it. It ain't systematic shit. racism, it's it, division. It, 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 but you it, know what? It, it, it is. We just have no systematic racism. Racism doesn't exist, man. Racism doesn't exist. I'm gonna sum all this shit up. Listen, 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 listen. I'm gonna sum all this shit up. I'm gonna sum all this shit up in two two phrases, man. When we, our grandparents and shit, they used to stay against the Klan or great grandparents and shit. You stand on the front porch with their shotguns, so motherfuckers couldn't come in their house. They was the stand up people that wouldn't watch a cop put their foot on a nigga neck. And watch them die because it was a village and they was trying to raise their own. But we done went from having guns in the, in the house to having a fight in the street, fighting in the house and having guns in the street. Woo! You want all the fun. Rewind that. You look hey. like you rewind and that's that. That's why shit's so again. fucked up, man. We in the house divided before we, before we before we even get outside. Out the crib. That's right. Then when you get out, out the crib, all the guns out there. That's so, right. You know what I'm saying? That's it's right. a setup, bro. Okay, I can, I think, and I and you're so divided in the I house that you believe so everybody divided. outside is against you. We used you to stand as one from the house regardless of how right. fucked up it was. Even the whole neighborhood. I you like, knew I the know, neighbors. I know, I know, everybody knew everybody. I know anybody watching this can relate to this. Maybe this might have been you. That you had grandparents that was in two separate bedrooms. But they stayed in the same house. house yeah, that's though. right. Yeah. And well, they had two beds. Yeah, yeah. And it was and, yeah. and, it, was, and, it, and it was because of that code. Because they like, you know what? I, you, we might not be like all this. But we're gonna ride. This we're gonna ride this, this out. Right. You know what I'm saying? We're right. gonna keep it here, and we're gonna stay in this one. You understand what I'm saying? But now, the outside is the inside. And the inside right. is the it's outside. Right. 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 You know right. 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 That's why I can't really, you know, because all they showing us. Is the energy that we bring out the house. When you go outside, my nigga, this this what you're gonna do, right? Against the police. You gotta think, and I ain't defending them in no form or fashion. Fuck them, my last name, outlaw. You understand what I'm saying? But if you on PTSD time and somebody just do something reaching with their hands and shit like that, you they know. more like the bush in your head. I'm ass. gonna go. So uh, yeah, you know, you know like, what I'm saying? So in my head, I'm like, yo, bro, you already know you in a fucked up situation. Don't, don't provoke them, man. Cause like they, the, white, the lady with the gun. Yeah, the and the dude with the taser, he gonna run in and pull the taser. Then the dude, remember the dude that was on live? He was on live to him. Yeah, I'm about to pull over. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fuck yeah, y'all. Yeah, yeah. You don't yeah, do yeah. that shit, yeah, man. Yeah, you can't, you can't provoke them, man. That's that's one thing I can't. But you know what? You know what I'm so mad about, man? Is that the energy that they had to take time to record that motherfucker dying. They ain't, they ain't do nothing to stop that shit, but they can loop and burn shit and turn cars over and this and that. But if all of them would have jumped on that police, his ass would be living right now, man. Dude, I'm, 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 I'm gonna I'm, watch that shit, man. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, I agree with you totally on that, and I, I'm gonna speak for them a little bit. I pretty much, which is fucked up too. It's fucked up. The reason why they probably did it, but I feel like the reason why a lot of people don't they record and not jump on the car. And this is being a hundred. Our grandparents wouldn't it's be because, like No, that. our grandparents wouldn't. They, but they, they feel like they shit, will man. also get fucked up or, or fuck shot it. or... You can't, or, you can't or, fuck or, up. Or, 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 yeah, you, yeah, you can't, can't fuck up. That's, that's all I'm saying. saying a lot of people Somebody feel like, catch it in a lot of people feel like well, you know. their way of helping is recording. Somebody you know, this, they feel like that's the most that they can do. A lot of people in their is not about trying to jump on that cop, which brings me to a good point. Hey, man, I got a project coming out. Casting calls for this movie, the untitled movie right now. 
But it's right I'm along the lines of what we talk about right now. I'm trying to get it. I was going to talk about it. Look, I got to find out shit. Always. Everybody, 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 everybody just found out. Everybody just found out. So now I'm everybody. I'm going to talk like a bitch now. I asked you tonight. I asked you. You too, because I want you to be my partner. Nah, fuck. Well, fuck it, then. Fuck it, then. What are you talking about? Well, look, yeah. Go ahead, point back here. You got a spot for me, too. Cast the call. Y'all get in my inbox, man. Y'all already know the one and only Joe Mafia is in. I got a couple other names that we've already talked about that we cannot we cannot sit up there and with the phones, but this this project, this movement right here, here is it. what we need. But this movement right here is what we need. We need this. Trust me. I can't speak on it right now, but we need this. Um, if you're not tuning in, you're not rocking with the best. I'm your host, Sensation, on another dope ass episode. of you know what? Since yeah. corner the far right, I got my main man, Chuck Black, the main man in the middle, the one and only Joe Mafia. Mafia. Woo Woo Syndicate, man. Woo Syndicate, man. Woo Woo Tight, right. man. Hey, man, we sitting up here chilling, man. So, um, we chopping it up, and um. The question I got for you now, because we about to sit up here and wrap this up, but the question I got for you now is, um, normally we'll have a segment. We normally have a sec. We normally have a segment called. Um, we have a couple segments, but you know what I'm saying. We don't have you know the game show part that y'all no normally know about. We so we don't get scratched at. Oh, um, shit. Yeah, we are scratched at. Shut up, Chuck. Uh, but no, bro, no, COVID, bro. No, 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 yeah, COVID. COVID you know what right? Yeah, we gonna blame yeah, we gonna blame that COVID. He's um, that damn Carol Baskin. That mad shit. We normally have a um a, 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 a part called gas and trash, whereas we have another somebody else their track that we will play normally play up here mm. for a small fee, of course, to you know introduce your your music on our platform and let people decide whether or not it's gas or trash. We don't have that today. Let's go. Lucky for you. Um, so yeah, we're right. gonna sit up here and we're gonna right. attempt. This is some shit that he don't even know about. We ain't talking about it, so I'm gonna put him on the spot right quick. Um, so we're gonna attempt to see that my main man Joe, the one and only Joe Mafia, has in the bars for us. I'm not 16. He's gonna spit out right quick. <laughs> and look at his face. He didn't know that was coming. That's see, this I is mean, real. This is raw. This is unscripted. You know what I'm saying? All right. You got a nice 16 for us, Joe. Yeah, I got you. You probably spit about 24. Nah, I'm gonna do 16. <laughs> But like niggas too comfortable talking reckless to vets Like the heckler and cotch won't pop the top of your neck Nothing the way you feel about me ever stop my respect Cause everything is real about me, recollect me a threat You need my marker shirt, let up sprinkle blood on your zaps Silhouette, salute with tongues, get hung in hoods of your rep mm. Just trophies put on display boxing with God as a stretch I'm on your marble for bet, pop off like tops on my wet have you on ICU losing units, congestive arrest, mm. major arteries, the auto wars, the sewer is best. Turn your home of the bowl to a commode, I'm compressed. I flush you out with kerosene and flamethrower your flesh. Supreme mathematics, always calculating my steps. You get castrated, decapitated, torturous death. Catch you way before common do. The drama is set, ain't no telling the fuck that Mafia do get smoke on your step. Woo, woo, the one and only Joe Mafia. That's that boot talk, man. Take that, nigga. That's that boot talk, man. Take that. Hey, man. Hey, look, man. If you're not tuned in, you're rocking with the best. You just missed a dope-ass episode. But you know how I say. You know what time is. You sit up there and do that little... And rewind it all the way back and catch this shit again. Make sure you go and check out... um. Sands Corn on YouTube, subscribe, like this shit, share this shit, you know what I'm saying, make sure you jump on that bandwagon, but to say, we do it for the culture, we bring the most and most talented individuals, period, but no matter what they do, rappers, singers, or whether they're promoters, business-wise, we bring them to y'all, we bring their stories to you, period, that's what mm -hmm. I do, that's my passion. Hey man, so we can go ahead and wrap this up, man. You, mean, you know uh, what I'm saying? Let's say some final. Oh no, yo, yeah. Oh, see, he, you know, you've been watching the show. I just want to. Hey, <laughs> hey Joe, hey Joe, hey, let's, let me say it. Joe Mafia, final thought. <laughs> Be more, do more. Say less, see more. Come on, sir. Ooh. Talk less, listen more. Repeat those words one more time. Preach right, people. Okay. Okay. For, for, okay. People in the back. So, yeah. the people in the back, though. Yeah. The in the back. yeah, man. Be more, do more. Say less, see more. Mm -hmm. Talk somebody. less, listen more. Words to live you know by, what I'm man. Saying? Words to live by, man. Chuck Black, found thought, baby. Well, hey, hey, hey. Smoke that, man. Smoke weed every day. But well, yeah, man. Birthday shout out to my nigga, My Lansky. My Lansky, what man. Up, Paul, Happy birthday, Pure. man. I can't wait to the verses joint. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Slum um, City. Track battles. You know what I mean? Mob and Cash, you know. Man, get started this shit. <laughs> See that? But what? look, what up, Daco? Road drinking on Sunday. Um, Napoleon was good, Smith & Wesson Tech, my niggas, Wu-Tang, you understand what I'm saying? Uh, my nigga Quan, DMP, Boogie Knots, 
uh, D. Sloan. That's about it. Lumberjacks, though. Love Lumberjacks. y'all, boy. Shout out to the Lumberjacks, man. Busy, man. man. Shout out to the Lumberjacks, man. Um, Sincere days, man. My final thought, man. Don't mind come to a sleeper with a drink. I thought I just gave you a He stole it. No, he stole it. He gave his final thought, man. Shout out to a million, man. A million, man. A million. He did it again. Hey, so I'm black, man. We ain't got no final thought. Well, goddamn, man. We ain't got no kick. We ain't got a lot of kick, man. Goddamn, man. To them tricks, send them to the Sincere days, man. Final thought, man. Don't mind come to a sleeper for the dream, man. You got to get up and get off your ass and go and get it because the only thing they're going to give you for free is advice, man. That's my word. I hope you dig that I'm shit, man. And a man. fucking headache. And that too, man. I'm your main man since today. It's been a pleasure to have my main man, Joe Marvel, word, man. on the show, oh, man. Sit up here rocking with us, man. Hey, man. Holler at us, man. I'm we back. And we back, baby. Ugh.